We are going to glam up this extremely beat up and worn out table today. This is a perfect example that anything can be restored or refurbished. This is my play table and I experimented with everything on it. Like, I really had no mercy on this table when I was playing. But today is the time for her to get a new lease on life. And not only that I am going to make her pretty, I am going to make her glow up. Because anything can glow up, like anything. You just have to put lots of gold on it. <laughs> there was some prepping to remove the paint and missing veneer. Some hot air, patience and love is all it takes sometimes. We did some wood filler repairs as well. And then everyone's favorite part, sanding. <laughs> is it your favorite part? Because sure mine isn't. <laughs> You see, this table is beautiful, but it's missing something. And to beautify this table, we're going to add lots of molds. We're going to put exactly 10 molds on this table. We start by mixing the resin with equal parts of A and B. Then we clean up the mold and repeat the process as many times as you need. Of course you have to clean your pieces. This is something you do every time before you start your makeover. It's a must. There is no way around it. Just clean. Just clean. Even if you are redoing a vase, you got to clean it. Cleaning. <laughs> I'm like a cleaning, clean, clean, clean. I'm like hunting people to clean their pieces. <laughs> and then we glue. It took quite a few molds to cover the table, but sometimes that's what we have to do. I wanted to create a beautiful trimming on this table around it. And I thought this mold was perfect for it. It looks so good. It's full of detail and it actually makes this table now. But wait until you see it at the end. After we were done gluing the molds, we nailed them with a very small nails, but I felt that was very important to keep my molds in place. I didn't want to risk it. And before you nail your molds, you have to heat up that resin so it's soft, so your molds don't break. Because when they're made out of resin, they're like plastic. So if you try to nail them while they're cold, they might crack on you. So just heat them up with a heat gun. Now we are ready to paint and I'm going with paprika red as my color. I really wanted to try this color. It's red, it's orangey, it's burnt and I thought it will look really good on this table so that's why I picked it.
my original idea was to sand and stain the top, but as you can see here, there was just too much veneer damage for that. So change of plans. We're just going to fix it with some gold. How about that? <laughs> Unless you're new here, in that case, I love gold and you will see me putting it on pretty much anything and everything because I just love it. And when you love something, you do it all the time. So gold is my happy place. I started by adding my gilding glue and you will need to give that like 15 minutes to set before adding the leaf. Now we add it everywhere, then wipe off all the extra leaf. I was trying to avoid having squares on my tabletop, so for that reason I was ripping my gold leaf sheets. And the more you rip it, the more aged is going to look. It's a beautiful and such an easy and forgivable technique, so I definitely uh, suggest you test it out if you want to tabletop to go leave a tabletop. And we're going to do the same for moldings. I like cutting smaller section into smaller pieces to not waste gold leaf. It's the same process always. Glue, gold leaf, brush it, and that's pretty much it. It's very repetitive technique. There is no excitement in there. There is a lot of patience in there, but no, it's excitement. So just so you know that, you need patience for this. <laughs> I did this to the legs and details as well. It's messy, but it's just a part of the process and it's always worth in the end. Remember that when you're go leafing anything and you're losing your patience and you're questioning your choices, remember it will be worth it in the end. I promise you, you're going to be so happy with your project. I wanted to do some aging on gold leaf and for this I'm using an old trick of creating a glaze by mixing mineral spirits and dark wax. I love to pair my dark wax with warm colors and black wax with cold colors and paprika is such a nice and warm color it needed that brown. Uh, you can go directly with brown wax on your gold leaf but you will have a much easier application if you create a glaze by mixing mineral spirits and dark wax. Just remember that. You, I promise you it's going to be super easy and nice. Just mix a little bit of mineral spirits into your wax and create a glaze. This will let it glide so much better with a gold leaf and get into all the crevices easier. But first we apply clear wax to everything and get it sealed. Clear wax is sealing gold leaf and child paint. It's a must before 
glaze, you have to put clear wax first because you can't just put glaze directly onto your paint. It's going to stack, it's going to look dirty, and it's not going to be manageable or removable. I mean, you can remove it, but you're going to struggle. It's going to give you a dirty look, and that's not what you want. This is easy, just apply and wipe off the extra. And then we do the same with our dark wax mixed with mineral spirits. It's going to glide and remove easy, almost like a stain now. Look at all this beautiful character and depth we just added with barely any work. I always wanted to uh, go leave an entire tabletop. So since I'm playing with this table, I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to play with that. And it's done. What a glow up. Didn't I tell you? It's going to glow up. table every time I get a table I play with it as much as I want it because if I mess it up it's easy to redo it and I really love uh, gold leafing tabletops but what I really think made this table is this mold that I added as a trimming it just brought that table out of proportion of the beauty you know what I mean Sometimes I get stuck on words, but you know what I mean. <laughs> what else I can say? It's just gorgeous. All I can say is just gorgeous, and I really love this table, and I am keeping it. I'm keeping it. For real. Like, it's mine. I'm not selling it. Sorry. Can't sell it. I love it too much. Thank you for watching. Bye.